Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are having a look at a way to be able to find data sets. So did you know that Google actually has its own data set search page? Uh, I only discovered it fairly recently and it's really, really helpful. So hopefully those of you that are looking for data to do research on or just are interested in data that's out there will find this really helpful as we have a quick look at the Google dataset search. So here we are on datasetsearch.research.google.com. I will link that up in the notes below. And just like normal Google, we can do a search. They've got a couple of suggestions here. So if we just click on this one, education outcomes, and you can see that we can use other Google normal search things so we can specify the sites to be data.gov sites. So if we click on that as a sample search and you can see that it's found over a hundred data sets, you can see that they are all data.gov sites. And so for those of you who are in other countries that may not be relevant, I think that is a more US centric thing. And for each data set, you can see there's a description, there's some links. Up the top, we also have some filters. So when was it last updated? What format? This could be particularly important for uh, getting tabular data versus maybe just some documents about data. Usage rights, uh, different topics, and whether or not it's free. So I have only searched a little bit. I haven't really found too much uh, in terms of paid. And I guess when we're searching on government sites, it typically is free data. Uh, but it could be in your domain that there is a lot of data which has paid access. So it might be that you need to use this free uh, filter as well. So we'll clear our filters. We'll scroll down. And so now maybe we will search something a little bit different. So I guess following up from my Voss viewer, uh, I wonder whether there's data sets about bench press. Uh, so as I mentioned in the last video, powerlifting near and dear to my heart. And we can see here, we ended up with 79 data sets, which is actually quite a few. And as we go through, we'll notice that they, some of them are a little bit perhaps tangential. Uh, so EMG data for baseball pitches and bench press variants. So that's a very, very niche kind of thing. Uh, we certainly find some data sets where they are attached to published research. Uh, and that's quite nice for being able to verify things. What have we got? Kinematics, mean standard deviation, uh, pre and post training barbell bench press. We can see that there's going to be an XLS file. So that's really nice. Again, this is a file that is linked up to someone else's research. But it could be that we take that, maybe we want to do our own kinds of analysis on it. Maybe we're doing a meta-analysis where we're putting multiple kinds of um, data, different studies together. Scrolling down further, we can see sites like Kaggle. So Kaggle has, uh, and I already knew about this one, open powerlifting data, um, which can be sourced from a couple of other places. We can see it's got a Creative Commons license. So we are pretty much welcome to do, certainly analysis-wise, an awful lot with it. You can see all of the different variables there. And this one, we've got a zip file. I'm not going to download it right now. We'll probably go over to Kaggle to download it ourselves. So this has been just a couple of searches using the dataset search. But I've found it to be, at the very least, quite interesting. So just something a bit novel to search for things of interest to see what public data is out there. For those of you who are in a research career or wanting to do research about particular things, you may find that professionally this is extremely helpful in being able to source additional data to have a look at. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video, please subscribe to keep updated when I release my latest videos.